you know, it's emotional. Uh, you know, uh, I call Utah my home. Uh, you know, especially uh, you know being here for six years. Um, had uh, you know with the club, with all of you guys, with the fans. You know the moments and memories. Uh, you know I'm gonna carry. Uh, you know in my heart for the rest of my life. Uh, and of course it was emotional. Um, and I'm just happy to be here. Uh, you know, unfortunately we lost. Uh, you know, and uh, it was of course tough game because as you guys know against RSL to play uh, at this stadium is, is always uh, tough. But uh, we gotta uh, you know focus ourselves now on, on Wednesday and on play, playing game against Portland. And uh, you know to get this win and uh, you know to keep it up. How much have you followed Real Salt Lake this season and what do you see out there from, from this year's team? What do you think? Did I follow or not? <laughs> no, I follow of course like every single game, you know. It's, uh, you know, the club uh, from the first day uh, I came here, I fell in love and uh, I'm gonna follow uh, all the games, uh, you know, all the lineups, all the, you know, uh, goal scorers, uh, you know, the way they play and everything and uh, I'm gonna follow I think for the rest of my life, as I said, you know, and uh, uh, they're at the moment like, uh, you know, very hard. They're playing, uh, you know, uh, very good uh, soccer and uh, now it's playoff time, you know, in playoff time anything is possible. How for ourselves, the same for us as, uh, as uh, uh, White Cups and, uh, you know, of course, uh, when you come into the playoffs that you, you want to go as far as possible. Thank you. Hey, Jimmy. Uh Hello again. Hello again. I have a, once you left the club, I don't know if you remember, you left as a captain, and now that was passed down to Chicho. Were there any talks when you left with Chicho? Uh, definitely, you know, to be honest, like even when Chicho joined um, us, I would say us, because at this, at this uh, point I was here at RSL, you know, we had a uh, great communication, even it was a little bit, uh, you know, language barrier, but as well, uh, he tries to speak English, I try to speak Spanish, you know, and to be honest, any away game, uh, we've been together with Pablo, with Marcelo, you know, and we had, to, you know, uh, great communication off and on the field. And, uh, uh, you know, it was great, you know, of course, he asked for some advices, you know, and I mean, he's leading by example, and, uh, you know, he's going to lead by example for hopefully so, so many years. Thank you. So. What advice did you give him? Uh, you know, just uh, to be who, who he is, you know, to, uh, first of all, we all know that the field is uh, only measurement, you know, to be on a field great, you know, to, to, to lead the team, uh, how he done basically this season with, I would say, like 17 goals, you know, but it's not only about the goals, it's uh, all about how you're going to behave on the field and off the field, and I think uh, Chicho is doing a great thing, and as I said, I mean, uh, it's, I always like to say it's not about like one person, it's about the group, you know, and, uh, I mean, if you want to be successful in your life, if you want to, you know, achieve something, uh, like the group has to be, uh, you know, together and has to be as one. And because of that, I'm always saying that the soccer is collective sport. It's not an individual. And every single person in the team has to, to act as a captain. What do you miss most about um, being in Salt Lake? You called Utah home, but what do you miss most about the club? You know, like, uh, uh, I had to, to be honest, like privilege uh, in my career, which is almost like 20 years as a professional. Uh, you know, to play for four clubs, and it was like the Rijeka in Croatia, it was Union Berlin in Germany, it was RSL here, and now it's White Cups. And you know, in any club, I found myself and my my family. We found ourselves as a part of the of the really family. Uh, you know, and of course, um, I mean, of course, I'm athlete, soccer athlete. You know, but sometimes it's not about soccer only. It's all about like the life. You know, how you're gonna, you know, respect the people you know, in a certain way and uh, how you're going to meet the people, how you're going to interact with the people, and I think, uh, you know, this is maybe the biggest, I would say, um, the thing I've done so far, just like, you know, to, to be good with the people and, you know, to have the friends in any club I played for the rest of the lives. And, uh, you know, of course I miss Utah, I miss, you know, like the friends, the, basically I call the family, uh, but, you know, uh, as well on the other side, the positive thing that I made, uh, you know, in Vancouver as well, you know, the family, and the friends who I call the family for the rest of my life. So in any in any city, basically it was so far so great, and hopefully it's going to be this way, uh, you know, in a, in a, in the next years. Hey, thank you so much. Sorry, he has to go. We have a Halloween. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Thank you so much.